Okay, and go. Hey, welcome back to Unconquered Training. Wad six. So I need to quickly explain this number before it's the one before seven. So just so we are clear, I have this thing here, and we'll post this for you guys on the Facebook page, how to speak New Zealander. Uh, so if any of you are, are confused, I've just figured out that I'm really hard to understand. So what comes off the uh, six? Seven. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. And then what, what else was there? There was here. Uh, Pug. Ooh. What is it? Uh, where's the funny one? Beard. A place to sleep. Beard. <laughs> half a dozen beers. Sucks pick. Oh yeah, half a dozen beers. Anyway, you'll see it up on the Facebook page so I'm a little easier to understand, but I will try and enunciate my words a little more. What was the South African? What, for oh, five. Yo, five. 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 And anyway, there's a mozzie, an Aussie, and a sozzie in here, so uh, you guys are a complete game up the, the, the garden path big time. Um, again, our warm up for today um, five minutes skip, jog, run, um, do what you can. Obviously, if we're in lockdown by now, um, obviously stay within the confines of your um, mansion. Um, if that's in Jay's place, uh, just run up and down the park, do a five minute thing. Um, into your joint circles again, so run through all those sorts of stuff. Those joint circles should take a good five minutes to get through. You know, don't skimp that sort of stuff. You know, the importance of a warm up is absolutely massive. If you don't warm up well, how do you expect to perform later? Um, if you go straight to this sort of stuff, all you're doing is just inviting injury to come. So um, we're gonna go into a bit of a core set. So those that are part of the barbell club will know this set pretty well. So you go on to a two minute dead bug, 30 second rest, one minute side plank, 30 second rest, plank, plank, plank. Uh, one minute side plank on the other side, obviously those are two separate sides, another 30 seconds and then a minute plank. So scaling before I show what these things are, you can just lessen the time, increase the rest. Um, those, that side plank for a minute, that's a long time. Um, I know the guys at the Barbell Club are, are, are pretty accustomed to that sort of stuff. So if that's, you know, if you can get to 30 seconds, go cool, happy days, be done with it, and then over the next coming weeks, we'll add to that sort of stuff. But start with the dead bug. Again, down in that staple position is the best way to explain it. Head stays on the ground. I'm trying to get my hips or tailbone up off the ground there. I'm pulling my toes back down towards me and pushing my heels towards the ceiling, really focusing on this lower core. Hands are up, I'm gonna hold here for two minutes. I'm not gonna do it now. 30 seconds rest into a side plank. So you're gonna uh, sit on the elbow um, or the hand. Um, I've got a hole in this elbow from breaking it on a uh, mountain bike tour. But uh, so up here on the hand arms, oh, I like to put my arm up here for balance or I can go down the side. So the idea is to stack shoulder, hip and through my knee and ankle as well in a nice straight line. So I'm pushing my hips forward here. If I go onto my elbow, I can say, ouch, this is light, ouch. There, same thing, pushing those hips forward and hanging here for a minute, all right? Really trying to stick my hips up and forward to maintain that straight line so I don't want to get into this broken position. Otherwise my spine's in a really weird place. So again, with that one, that's a pretty advanced move. Um, you know, like scaling options for that sort of stuff is just reduce the time. If you can get five seconds, cool, do you know, five seconds on, five seconds off, or 10 seconds off, um, and take some breaks and build over the next wee while. Obviously swap sides to the other side, um, and then into my plank position. A Couple of ways I can do my plank. Shoulder width with my hands up onto my toes, or into that hollow body position. So I'm not in this position where I'm arching down into the middle of my hips. All right, so creating that nice hollow body, pushing my hands hard into the ground, using my lats. And I can see, you can see I've got a bit of a curve in my upper back, and then tucking my hips under, squeezing my glutes, squeezing my uh, thighs, and coming up onto the toes. I can make it a little harder by pushing right up onto those toes and moving into almost that planche position. Alternatively, hands flat down on the ground, Elbows just beneath my shoulders, same thing, up into that hollow body position. Make it a little easier, I can pop my hands together. Uh, make it a little easier, I can come down onto my knees. Awesome. I'm going to stop before I start cramping. Anyway, we're gonna go into a 15 minute AMRAP of a burpee and an air squat. Ascending reps. So I'm gonna go three reps, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30. If you make it to 30, back to three. 
Alrighty, so that's a, a complete round. That's a long way to get through. Like you'd be hammering to get through that sort of stuff uh, in the 15 minutes. So those that do make it through, hey, well done, that's awesome. Burpee, again, now burpee. Sprawl down to the ground. Dibble. Turn those things over. <laughs> Into that air squat. So, you know, squat width with my feet. Feet just outside shoulders, uh, sorry, outside hips. Arms up, crease of the hip, below the crease of the knee. You can have my hands come up and down with me. Make sure that you're not doing a teenage squat, Taj, and standing all the way up. You'll know what that means. Um, scaling option for this one here, like we can go 10 to 12 minute AMRAP. So same rep scheme, but I'm not just not gonna go for as long. Alternatively, I can go a five minute AMRAP, two minutes rest, and do that three times or two times. Depends on where you want to thing with that. Um, part B, we're gonna go alternate between the two movements. So we've got a single arm dumbbell snatch and a single arm, oh sorry, and a kettlebell lunges. So 20 reps each time, rest in between each set. Let's do them as a superset. Um, so what are we looking for? Dumbbell snatch. Dumbbells, so again, if you guys have trained with us at CrossFit Noosa, you know the importance of keeping my hips down below my shoulders, nice neutral uh, curve in my spine, you know, nice flat back essentially. So here I'm gonna pull my hips down. I like to have my hand out the side, stand up, come up and overhead, down, alternate, or I can swap on the way back down, swapping sides there, 20 reps off. into kettlebell lunges or dumbbell lunges. Um, if I've got a dumbbell, I can rack it here, I can rack it here, anywhere, I can pop it on the back. I'm gonna step forward, drop my back knee, 20 reps. Take a rest in between. Now you can challenge yourself, or you can get the 22s uh, going with that if you've got those. I know some of our members have got some pretty chunky weights, but do what you can with what you've got. You can use a Ooh, this will be interesting. Is that, you know, I can do that sort of stuff here, and I can tuck that in to do my thingies. And that can be, you know, a five litre bottle. Obviously, you want to have the lid on. Yeah, those that don't get video footage of with the lid off, yeah. that'd be awesome. Yeah. Robbo, leave the lid off. Um, scaling option for that sort of stuff, three by 15. Um, kettlebell lunges, we'll go through those kettlebell lunges really quickly, same thing, I can stack it here or I can stack it there and alternate there. If you only have a kettlebell for the snatching, same sort of thing, it's a little different, probably an advanced manoeuvre, but I'm going to swing and punch up and overhead, you can see that kettlebell things in up and flips over my head, if you know what that one is, um, you can do that one. If not, make sure you take your watch off for that one. Um, if not, we can do it just as a bottom up dumbbell snatch there, kettlebell snatch, sorry. Um, probably only a moderately loaded one there though. Um, obviously you wanna stretch at the end of all these workouts. We've been kind of missing that sort of stuff out. Um, just because, so in, into the stretching sort of stuff. There's a lot of posterior chain, so quad stuff. Um, make sure you get a, uh, a good stretch of the quads, hamstrings, glutes, um, and then plenty of core stuff there, so a nice stretch of the core and that sort of stuff. Um, if you're signed up to Romward, that's a, a, you know, a really cool um, company that's doing some, uh, always does some really cool stuff, um, do a 20 minute Romward and happy days. You'll get your stretching done for the day. Alrighty, thanks yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. Good make sure you uh, subscribe to CrossFit4566. That's where you can access the stuff um, with their unconquered training. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Alrighty, cheers. See cheers. you next time. You boo.